working with Herbie Hancock, it's not just like playing with uh, one of your buddies. You know what I mean? Like one of my buddies are like, hey man, let's get together. And um, it was definitely big. However, I had a good jazz career. I was playing with Woody Shaw and Bobby Hutcherson, and I was also a steady drummer with Vince Guaraldi at the time. And I had uh, lived a lo long time in the Bay Area. I was a popular artist there. And so I had a career that was swinging. And I didn't have to play any funk unless I wanted to. So, because uh, uh, popular to, con uh, to uh, contrary to popular belief, I like listening to other guys play funk. And I like to play a funky kind of jazz tune, like a cannonball tune or Horace Silver or some original stuff. But it's not my favorite thing. Bebop and post-bop. That's my deal. That's what I love. That's my passion. So I was doing that, and I told Mr. Hancock, I'm flattered and honored that you want me to play in your band, but if you're very famous, and if I do play in this band, and the, and the music is funk, then I'm going to get known for this, and it might put a dent in my jazz career, and it did. And, one, and he said to me, well, you got a good point there. You could stay here in the Bay Area the rest of your life and play till you die, which there's nothing wrong with that. Working is a good thing. But he said, uh, maybe nobody will ever, ever hear of you. And if you come with me, I'll show you the world. I'll teach you a lot of stuff. And everybody will hear of you. And I was like, ah, yeah, okay. So I did it. You know, I mean, uh, it wasn't like I was so cool I... I didn't want to do it, but not playing jazz was a big part of my decision. It was a little bit of a dilemma. Here's a guy that you've grown up on, Herbie Hancock, wants you to play in his band, but the music is not jazz. It's like more like funk, and you're like, oh, um, I'm not sure. So that's how it was for me. The experience itself was completely rewarding spiritually. Uh, I learned tremendous lessons playing with that guy listening to him play and interacting with him was off the chain but at one point it became commercial and quite frankly at one point we sounded like a band that needed a singer and people were interested in money now I like making money but I'd rather play and make less money than play simple beats and hopefully someday have a big payday which still hasn't happened and I knew it wouldn't. I knew that was jive. You know what I mean? Like, it's, um, so like any gig, good and bad, you know, artistically kind of at the beginning, it was like <clears throat> uh, a world of uh, I couldn't wait to get to the stage with that band. I couldn't wait for the next groove or for, to invent. We were trying to invent. I don't know if you ever invent anything in this music, but we're trying to come up with new ideas and a new slant on things and this and that. And I couldn't wait to get there and to try to uh, better my hand at what I was doing. But then, like I say, once it became really commercial and managers and business people and a lot of like, yes, people became involved. I'm just being honest. I started to withdraw. I had already quit, but I kept playing until it fell apart because, you know, you always need money when you're a musician. You know, I'm not independently wealthy, so I always needed the money was pretty good and da-da-da. And, and then uh, right around that time, some guy from Stevie Wonder's organization offered me a gig, and I figured it would be the same kind of deal, even though I love these artists. Don't get me wrong. It's not like I'm too good of a drummer. for. It's just not bebop. It's just not post-bop. It's just not... Elvin, it's not Philly Joe, it's not what I grew up listening to. I didn't grow up, I grew up uh, listening to James Brown and I, and I lived in the South and played a lot of soul music with a lot of the big stars and I played a lot of <clears throat> blues with a lot of the big blues stars so that's why I'm able to play any kind of funk at all because they gave me strict training back in the day.